Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is look at finding the expected values of a probability distribution. Um, for this one, the expected value is equal to the mean. It's simply anytime that they're asking you for the expected value, it's just the mean um, that you would expect to see come through. So for this, the mean is equal to the sum of all of our individual x values times the probability of um, those values. So for example, um, we're going to talk about a situation where we have raffle tickets are being sold for $5. There are four prizes being awarded or given out. Um, they are $1,000, $500, $200, and $100. So if 2,000 tickets are sold, we want to find the expected gain. So we want to look on average, how much are those people going to gain from this raffle? So to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a probability distribution. So x, remember that with a probability distribution we have x and the probability of x. Because we're talking about gains, that's how much money they actually gain, remember that they did have to pay $5 in order to try to win this money. So they are out $5, so their gain um, with $1,000, when I take the $1,000 and I subtract 5 from it, their gain is $995. So they really walked away with $995. Okay. Um, for the second prize, it's $500. So with this, again, we have to take and figure out what our gain is. So our gain for this one would be $495 since we paid the $5 out. For the next one, um, we would take the $200 and we would subtract the 5 from it, so we really gained $195. Um, for the $100 prize, we gained $95, and everybody else lost $5. So we would actually have a negative gain. We have a loss of $5. Now we want to talk about all of our probabilities. So our probability, remember, is the chance of this happening out of the total number of people that are participating in this raffle. So for this one, there is only one prize that's being awarded for $1,000. So you have a 1 in 2,000 chance of winning $995. For the second prize, it's the same thing. There's 1 in 2,000. For 195, it's also 1 in 2,000. And then for the gain of 95, it's 1 in 2,000. So everybody else loses the $5. So with this, when we're looking for the probability of this, we're trying to figure out um, how many lose. Well, since there's only 1, 2, 3, 4 winners, we would take 2,000 minus 4 and we get 1,996. So there's 1,996 people that will not win. So in order to find the expected gain, we would use the formula where we would write the expected value of x is equal to x times, sorry, I forgot the sum symbol, the sum of x times the probability of x. So we would have to take each individual value, the 995, times 1 divided by 2,000 plus 495 divide, and you can do divided by since we're um, multiplying by 1, so 1 divided by 2,000 plus 195 times 1 divided by 2,000 plus 95 times 1 divided by 2,000. And then for the last one, we would do negative 5 times 1996 divided by 2,000. And in later videos, I will show you how to do hand or how to use your calculator to do this much more quickly to find the mean. Um, but for this one, I did want to show how to do it by hand first. Um, so if you want to know how to do it in either the TI-83, 84, or TI-Inspire, I will have videos for that. So what you would do is then you would plug this into a calculator or some um, device, and I've already done that for us. 
the sum of all of these when we do out all the math is negative 4.10 okay so basically as far as gains go um, there is an expected gain of negative four dollars and ten cents or we could say there is an expected loss of four dollars and ten cents so on average um, out of the two thousand people that do participate in this raffle um, the expected gain for each individual person is negative four ten negative four dollars and ten cents nobody actually loses four dollars and ten cents but on average that is what we would expect to see so in a situation like this that means that they are going to be gaining a lot of money towards this raffle so whatever the raffle is for maybe it's a fundraiser for something um that means that they would actually have a profit and that all of their values are not going to go out in awards. So they would actually profit some on this. So for the people, they are going to, on average, lose $4.10. As always, thanks for watching. And remember that if you do want to see how to do this in technology, make sure that you check out one of those videos. Thank you.